Okay, so welcome to day three of Halloween to a film called The Triangle from 2016. Documentary, mockumentary, found footage, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's about this group of filmmakers, I think there's four of them, they get a cryptic postcard from a friend who's been missing. They go to this commune that lives in the desert in Montana, middle of nowhere, in the shape of a triangle. When you're up high, you can see they live in a triangle. Um, but there's more going on here than meets the eye. And I couldn't see what the hell was going on if I had 55 eyes. Because the first chunk of this is them moving around this camp, getting to know people, getting to know their ways, their customs, why they're here, and all that kind of stuff. And it's slow. It is slow. It's not overly interesting, but it's slow. Then the last half an hour, is it the last half an hour or so, we then get taken to these caves when it, when there's neon lights all around and they're taking all kinds of trippy stuff. We get taken to the caves and there's something in the caves and the more they dug it up, it emitted a noise. And I was thinking, what does that shape look like? And apparently we find out it's a fossil of the head of a T-Rex. Um, before you know it, people are going missing, people are being sick, people are passing out, going missing, all that kind of stuff. Um, so it picks up a tad then, and then right at the very end, they give us a little a little title. And I'm thinking, ooh, what, what did happen to these people? Where did these people go? And you see it, and you see them from a distance, kind of full of people walking to a cave you see the cave a little black hole in the in um, in the cliff you just see them they walk in there they walk in the music will stop and you'll see a half a second flash in a cave and the film goes off that's it so is it some kind of supernatural is it a gateway somewhere do when it flashes do they die do they get transported somewhere i don't know is it up to you to decide it probably is um it's just what came, so the, the, what do you call it, the payoff? The payoff isn't worth what came before. It's like, if the payoff was wow, you put up with the rest of it, but for me, it wasn't. And it's not really a horror film. Um, so, because of that, there's no not much running around. When you see through the camera, it's not, it's not going like that. You can see everything and it's calm and it's so that's a plus but nothing happens it, it really doesn't um as i say it's not a horror film we call it a drama as i said a mockumentary what the hell one of them is um it took three years to edit in someone's bedroom um acting was fine and there is something to be said for just living in the middle of nowhere sometimes i i'd love a little getaway in the middle of nowhere I could just go there whenever I wanted. So there are, there are some intrigue in that, but it just wasn't presented very interestingly to me. Um, and just, a, a, it's okay. It, it's You could call it completely shit, and I'd have no problems with that. Um, I was reading the letterbox review, and someone wrote, the last, the last half hour was amazing. I couldn't handle it. It was so exciting. I'm thinking, don't you watch any kind of films, people? But it's all about opinion. To me, it was slow, and the payoff didn't warrant all the slowness. The payoff didn't wasn't enough of a bang for me. So that's the triangle. Um, comments and welcome.